Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we had this blog post slider at the top of one of our pages on one of our previous videos and somebody asked how, how I actually did it. We're using the Divi Supreme Modules Pro plugin for this today. And it's a fantastic feature to have on your site. It's got that sort of 3D full width effect. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. While that's enabling, let's go down to our desktop. Now, like I say, you need the Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated to be able to use this today. Divi Supreme Pro comes with 50 modules and four extensions. Uh, one of my favorite ones is you can pop up just about anything from anything using Divi Supreme Pro if we click on it. Here's the enable pop-ups. You can have library widgets and short codes. They really do have some useful extensions as well as the modules. So let's go back over here and I'll show you how to build this. If I go down, I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a, a row that's full width with a single column in it. Green tab. And here's the module itself, the dark tab. Let's delete the row and we'll start from scratch. Little green button to add a new row. I'm going to add a single column. Inside that column, I'm going to put our little carousel blog module. All the light gray ones here are the ones you get as standard with the Divi theme. When you add Supreme Modules Pro, you get 50 of these other ones here. And there's some fantastic ones there really are. We're using the Supreme Blog Carousel to build this today. Now, obviously, you're going to need to have some blog posts to make this work. Anybody that doesn't know, go to your dashboard, go to posts, add new, make sure you've got some blog posts in there. OK, and by default, it's thrown in three little posts there and they're sliding along, which is great. Up here, you can choose how many you want to show in this display here. You can offset them if you want them. Do a specific order. Choose the categories that you want here. I'm going to use my new and my old posts. You've got date format, month, day, year. You can change that if you want to by changing those letters around. Elements. This is what it's actually going to display. Featured image. Obviously, that's the featured image of your post. When you create a blog post. It gives you the opportunity to set up featured image and that's what it's going to pull in for that one. Title, show title, excerpt. Here's the excerpt. It's a little bit long for me. You can choose the number of words that you have in there. I'm going to cut mine back to maybe 10. That's a bit more like it for me. You can choose whether to show the date, the category. We've not got our category enabled there. Meta separator is a little pipe that's separating one element from another or one piece of metadata from the other. You can choose to put in whatever character you want to use for that. You can choose to add a read more button. There it is right there. And obviously choose what you want it to say there. Read more is fine for me. Target. Well, let's open it in the same window. We don't want to open another tab as we're going to our own site. Show bottom ele meta elements. That'll put this on the bottom here. I'm happy with it as it is, so I'm going to leave that as off right there. Carousel settings. Well, the default here is a slide. I think we've covered the cube in a recent one, and you can flip it. But actually, today we're going to use the cover flow so we can create that almost 3D type effect. As you can see, it's tilted those rounds slightly. Just down below, we've got Show Shadow. I'm going to switch that to On. What that does, it gives it the ones either side a bit of shadow there, which gives it that kind of 3D type effect. Cover Flow Rotate. If I play with this, you'll see it turns the cards how you want them, so you can make this look how you wish. Cover Flow Depth is the sort of sides of the ones to the right and left there. 
and you'll see this in action in a minute when I make this row full width. Direction, left to right, right to left, I'm happy with it, left to right. Number of columns, I'm going to up mine to five. It's going to look a little bit crazy, but when I make this row full width, it'll look a lot better. Obviously, put however many you want in there. Don't want to use multiple rows. Don't need to use centered mode because I'm using an odd number, so that will always leave one in the middle anyway. Spacing, I want them pretty much on top of each other, so I'm going to pull this all the way down to the left. Transition duration is the time it takes for this one to get to here. Half a second, that works for me. If you want to slow it down, put a higher value in. If you want to speed it up, put a lower value in. I do it do want it to infinitely leap. If you turn that off when it gets to the last one, it's going to stop. And I do want it to autoplay. Autoplay speed by default is 5 seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. That's the time each one stays where it is. That works for me. Pause on hover. I'm going to turn that on. That way when they put their mouse on it on the front end, it'll pause so they can read whatever it says, look at the picture, and give them a chance to click on the read more button. If we roll on down, we've got pagination at the bottom here. Those are the little dots that appear at the bottom. I like those. We've got some little chevrons either side. That's the navigation. I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to make mine full width. No need for me to use equal height. All my images are, are common and the content's common, so they're all the same height anyway. If you have a problem, you can turn that on. I don't want to disable touch dragging, that's for mobile and tablets. Grab cursor is fine. As you can see, that's that little hand icon there. Okay, well, let's pop over to our design there. In fact, let's save this and let's make this row full width and we'll get it looking how we want it. So I'm going to hit the little green button. I'm going to go back into the row, which is the green tab. Hit the little cog. To make it full width, I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, and type it in the max width down below. Or you can paste it if you want to. So we've got 100%, 100%. Now we've got a full width row up there, which is great. Just what I wanted. And these look more of a sensible shape now. Great, so let's save this. And you may ask why I didn't use a full width section for this in the first place. Well, if you use a full width section, you've got a limited number of modules that you can use in it. So we really have to use a regular row and make it full width. Okay, well, let's go back into our module. Just click on anywhere on the carousel there. Dark tab for the module. And let's go over to our design this time. You can add separate padding for the post item, top, bottom, left and right. Give it a background color if you want. I'm happy with mine to be white. If you want to round off the corners, just give it a, a value there. If I give it, say, 20, it'd be fairly rounded corners. It's quite a nice effect. I'm happy for mine to be square. So common to most Divi modules, if you do something you don't like, simply delete it. It'll go back to the default. With corners, as long as you've got that little icon highlighted it'll do all four at once you can do them separately if you want to all four top right bottom and left okay moving on then i'm going to give mine a little bit of box shadow on the bottom just lifts it off the page and you can edit the post thumbnail obviously that's your featured item Entry title, I'm going to leave mine just as they are. Entry summary. Entry metadata, it's right there. Read more. I'm going to turn that into a regular button. No coding involved in this today. They've got a little regular Divi switch there. If you switch it to on, you can turn it into a regular button. Let's make that white. And I'm just going to give it perhaps a purple background. I'm going to take any, away any border. There we go, and that's going to work for me. 
don't think I want an icon. And I'm leaving everything left aligned. Great. I will pop a bit of box shadow on the button as well. Okay. Now we've got navigation. I've got no navigation. Pagination. I'm just going to make it that same purple color for the active one. And that's that down there. We've not got any bottom meta items. I'm not going to use an overlay. You can have an icon on an overlay. That would be better for the sort of square and cubed ones. Spacing. You can add padding top, bottom, left and right. Add a little bit more to the bottom perhaps. Just gives it a little bit more on the bottom there. And again, if you don't like something you've done, delete it. Okay. Don't want to use filters, transform or animation. Let's go back to our settings now and just flip this a little bit so it works more for us. So I'm going to go into my content again. Carousel settings. Cover flow rotate. As I said earlier, you can rotate these until it fits to what you want. I'm going to pull mine pretty much that way. Cover flow depth. Let's take that down a bit so we've perhaps got five or four. Whatever fits for you. That's going to work for me right there. And I think we're good to go. So let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes down the bottom here. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's our little 3D full width post slider. I think on my last one, I gave him a board around the bottom, but that's still pretty effective like that. And that's a really eye catching feature to have on your site. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a 3D cover flow blog post slider for your Divi theme using the fantastic Supreme Modules plugin. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Of course, if you click on one of these, it's going to take you to the post. There we go. And don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 at webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.